my best foundations 2022. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca. I am doing a roundup of foundations of 2022 that either I reviewed and discovered, I mean, that are new to me, or were launched for 2022. So I've got some high end, I've got some drugstore. Um, I've kind of, I, I feel like I'm covering all the bases. So I think it's good. I don't have an official ranking system. I am not one of those type A personalities that made a chart with like, these are the criteria and I am going to grade them. It's sort of a uh, gut instinct, a feeling. What uh, foundations I've reached for often, I get the most, enjoyment wearing like I look in the mirror and go hey not bad I am going to begin I think one actually launched at the very end of 2021 and one is 2022 but whatever and this one it was so hyped I wanted it so bad I ordered it from the UK and then because I think it was sold out and then like if I had just waited a week or so I probably would have gotten it somewhere local and then it still took like two weeks to get from England. It's the Charlotte Tilbury beautiful skin. <laughs> this foundation is beautiful. I have shade four neutral. I did use, sorry, I did a dedicated review of this. In fact, I think, I, I think all of these I've got dedicated reviews, so I will link them if they exist. <laughs> and I, this foundation for dry skin, I really enjoyed. It is a medium to full coverage. It's very luminous. It feels good on the skin. It's got ingredients that are very sort of skincare. The idea, you know, that it's supposed to improve your skin. I mean, to be honest, I really like this. It's just expensive. And I just, I forget about it. Like I said, it's not the worst. I'm not going, I do kind of have a winner, kind of doing a, <clears throat> you know, like a, and this, but it's it's very hard for me. It's hard for me to pick a favorite because there's always a, a season, an occasion, a, a phase my skin is going through. So I don't just have one favorite. Okay, but I like this. I like that. I like you. I like you. But you know, it's like, don't feel you have to get it. I will tell you what I want you to get. No, just kidding. Okay, and then this one is the Cali Ray Free Dreaming. And Cali Ray, new company, fun. They're like supposed to be edgy, flirty. So great company. Um, and they sent me this actually. I have two. This is one of those like skin tints very liquidy. You want to really shake it. It is also kind of a medium full coverage, buildable. This shade looks pale on me at first and then it just kind of works. I really like this, but I didn't love it, but it did impress me. I actually, I, I can throw this on with my fingers. Oh, I didn't. Um, ooh. Uh, so it is, it's a, it's a good, it's good. Um, you know, I'm just kind of like, okay, it's good, it's good, I like it. Um, it, it really lends well, you know, you can just kinda, yeah. There's like a, it's not fragrance, but there is a scent. You know, it's not like, oh, Dior, where it's like you can smell it. It's, I don't know what that is. It's nice, it's very subtle, but there's something in there. Yeah, so Cali Ray, great, just, like, you know, pretty great, pretty, pretty, like it a lot. Um, just, it, for me, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't bowl me over and yeah. Did not dedicate a video to it and only kind of tossed it into some get ready with me's at the end. Recently discovered it, it's the Say Tint. This is a very, this is sheer, doesn't have a ton of coverage, but it is so moisturizing. It has SPF 35, 30, I can't read it, but it's, it's good. 
I love this layered with other products to build coverage or to just give my face extra sun protection on top of the SPF I already put on, but just kind of like, ooh, look at that. Just evens out, gives a dewy finish. Again, I put it on with my fingers. Um, I really, really like it. It's a very casual tinted moisturizer slash SPF foundation, you know, it really is in that category of did you forget your SPF and you want a bit of coverage, slap it on, or do you want to wear foundation that doesn't have a ton of coverage that you're just going to incorporate with other products to build and help, you know, deflect imperfections? Love it. So it's, it's, it's a lovely, lovely product. I just, I love how my skin just feels so dewy when I wear it and it doesn't feel greasy or runny. It just feels like, oh yes. So I, I really, really like it. Now this one surprised me. I reviewed it, liked it, and then I picked it back up recently and I'm like, whoa, this is good. It's the Catrice True Skin. I like it because it's hydrating long wear full coverage, which is a weird combination because sometimes high long wear and full coverage aren't very hydrating. It says it has hyaluronic acid. It's meant to be hydrating. So for all skins, um, I have the shade cool cashmere 010, which I think works pretty well. You can get this on Amazon. It's $10. So honestly of full coverage foundation, $10 dollars. It wears so nicely. I recommend a light hand. Don't overdo it. I like putting it on the back of my hand, taking a foundation brush or some kind of, you know, um, definitely prep the skin. Even though it says hyaluronic acid, prep your skin. So I, this, this Catrice is really, really great. It is, it's a good one. Yeah. It doesn't have a scent. It doesn't like, there's nothing in here. Like it is just, it's such a good everyone all access foundation. Yeah. Price point, performance, etc. Now I love the Wayne Goss cream foundation he launched this year. And Wayne is such a genius when it comes to products for mature skin, for being inclusive with all textures and ages. Um, this cream foundation, it is so good how it goes on the skin. You can wear it with, you can apply it with your fingers. You can use it to touch up here. Like, look, I'm going to have heart right here. It has that waxy texture that is indicative of a cream foundation, you know, like a, a pan type old fashioned foundation, but it doesn't have that thickness. It doesn't have that thing where you spackle it on and then it leaves creases. It moves with the skin. It feels nice on the skin. You can adjust the coverage. I really, really enjoyed this product and I hope Wayne is restocking because so many of his shades have been sold out since the first launch. So I got shade eight and I actually want to get a lighter shade because this one's a little yellow for me for winter. Show my texture. It did not show my pores. Like it really is good. Again, prep your skin you know, work it in it, let it warm up. I think what happens is people put on too much product. They don't prep their skin and then they just kind of look at it and go, oh, it's streaky or, oh, it's this, oh, it's that. And it's like, just give it, give it a little minute, you know, let the, if you're cooking, you know, you got to let that meat rest after you broil it. You can't just cut right into it. You got to let it rest. So yeah. And the powder, his powder, definitely will be in my top 2022 20, products for sure. For, for sure. You guys, I don't know. I hope everyone that out that bought the Michelot after I freaking raved about this 
<laughs> is as excited about it as I am. Uh, I love this foundation. I really, really do. So I have shade 102 Nude is my kind of perfect shade. I wear, I blend this with other products. I put this on with a brush on, you know, I, I apply it first on the back of my hand. It's full coverage. I feel like I can really modify it. It kind of seems like it's gonna be thick, but then it really just does such a nice job of blending. It wears well, it looks good for hours, and I really like it. This foundation, I think the reason I like it so much is because it's like a combination of these two. It has the coverage, but it has the creamy and the luminosity, uh, and it's more affordable than this, you know? So I feel like I get all of those boxes ticked off with this one. Okay. And it doesn't have fragrance. It doesn't have anything in it to trigger a sensitive skin if you're like me. And yeah, so, and it's a great price point. I have a discount code, but I just, I really, I really, really like it. <laughs> Let's talk real quick powder foundation. Powder foundation is a strange obsession with me. I love powder foundation. And Wander Beauty remains the queen. But you guys, I tried two this year that deserve praise. First, the e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation that was launched this year is phenomenal. It's phenomenal. Now, the drawback is, yes, it comes in a wide shade range. Are the shades kind of weird? Yeah. <laughs> but once you put it on and put all your other makeup with it, does it really matter? Probably not. So on this side of my skin is Fair 140W, which is sort of an odd yellowish tint when I first put it on, but it works. It's like, it works with my winter skin and it's so smooth. The coverage is so good. It blends on so quickly. So quickly, I use a brush, I don't use the sponge that comes in here. It just sort of, it just marries with your skin so you don't see that it's powder. Um, it doesn't feel dry. Like it's winter outside, 30 degrees, I feel dry. I think my eye area is a little on the dry side, like my skin, I could have done a little more prep. But honestly, I slapped that on today it's fine. I don't think this came out this year. I think this came out last year, but the Patrick Star, the one size, the powder foundation, oh, it is so good. This was my summer foundation. I love this. I put this on, I have light 2N. I put this on, believe it or not, um, you can use any number of, oh. The brush I use for both of these foundations is my Joa multitasker. I love this brush. If you have a brush, this reminds me of the BK Beauty, the 101 foundation, but it's a little less dense. So it has a little bit more fluffiness, but it's still kind of that, you know, it's got a lot of, a lot of bristles. So, but it's very soft and I just love to kind of swirl it and put it on. Um, this has less coverage than the e.l.f. The e.l.f. has a ton of coverage. This actually almost is a more sheer, as much as you go, you put it on, you go, whoa, that's full coverage. Like, wow, I'm putting on a lot of makeup. It's actually not as full coverage as the e.l.f. So keep that in mind. Love these, love these. Salt New York, you guys, the sneaky bombs. Sneaky tints, what are they called? Sneaky tint? The Salt New York sneaky balm. Now it could be cause I'm dry, but these are $16. This pan of solid cream foundation is $16. And it is pure, just it's pigments and waxes and emollients that just do so good for the skin. I have shade N11, it's perfect. Um, it is a medium coverage. 
It is very, you can put it on by itself and just kind of like rub it around and be like, yeah, looks good. And it's like skin. Um, it's not a full coverage. Like this isn't, you know, full, full dramatic coverage. But what I love about this is I actually feel like when I wear this, when I do take the time, blend this out, apply it, layer it with other products, a little bit of concealer here and there, some powder strategically, I feel like when, like for an event or something, that I look good for hours on end. My face doesn't crack, everything still looks nice and like skin, and I just like how fresh and healthy I look when I wear this. So I think that's why I love it. I love that it's a small company. You've got to try Salt New York. I don't have a discount code. I use Kate the Crates discount code because I found them through her. So I feel like she gets the credit. So I also have the cream bronzer, the cream highlighter, and the cream blush. That's all they have right now. And this is, you can get these to fill. Uh, it's just great. It's just great. It's, I love them. Shall we? Let's, let's just go in and highlight. Okay. Hey, you know what? Why not some, why not some blush? Let's do a little blush and bronzer. How about that? Right? Right? Why not? I just, they're sheer. They're pigmented. They last. They look good on the skin. You can layer them over powder products. You can layer them over other cream products. Ah, uh, it's so good. Here, let's do a little bit of that. Mm-hmm, mm, right, yeah, mm. So I think, I think that's everything. I think there's a couple I forgot. <laughs> I really feel like that. Stay tuned, feel free to please subscribe and check for notifications for future videos because I am going to do a wrap up of the year as best I can in different categories so that you get like a drugstore, you get maybe some concealers, some lip products, some skincare. Um, yeah, and I might just do like a, a winner's list, like an all time favorite, you know, kind of thing. So yeah, alrighty folks, take care. <sighs> just, you know, hydrate, nap, everything. <laughs> Honestly, sorry, side note, I've determined I'm a 50-year-old preschooler. Um, <clears throat> uh, sometimes when I'm having a hard time, <laughs> I realize that it's one of three things I need or all three, a nap, a snack, or a good cry. So <laughs> I was like, I had a little bit of an emotional breakdown after my daughter graduated college and I think it's with being sick and exhausted and then I was like you know what that cry I, I had to get it out and then I was like I'm so tired and then I had a snack and I'm like I feel so good now I can I can carry on anyway that's just my little lesson there. <laughs> All right, you folks, take care. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me your favorite foundation in the comments. I want to know what you loved and I want to know of what I showed you if you tried any of them and did you like them? I hope so. Okay, take care. Bye.